Well, today's historic inauguration shared in classrooms around Southeast Texas. These were the scenes at St. Anne Catholic School. You can see some images from BISD. They shared what happened in classrooms at Westbrook High School. The inauguration inspiring some future leaders, perhaps even a future president. And these kids were not alone. Students and staff alike gathered to watch the events on TVs at the Lamar University Student Center and at the Rec Center. 12 News reporter James Grant talked with them about their hopes and their dreams for the next four years. For lots of Lamar University students, the 2020 election was their first time participating in the democratic process. So today's inauguration was a full circle moment. It's a time for reflection. The past year has been challenging for so many Americans, including college students. That's why many of the Lamar students I spoke with say they voted in November's election. They wanted their voices to be heard and whether or not their candidate came out on top, inauguration day is the culmination of it all. With our generation, there wasn't much uh, voter turnout in the last election, and things kind of turned it out uh, not for good. Uh, so hopefully this, this time things will turn around a little bit for the better. Chris Harmon is a senior. He voted for the first time on November 3rd and says instead of voting along party lines, he prefers to vote for the person he feels is right to lead the country. Another student and first time voter, Jonah Romero, wanted to have a say in who runs our country the next four years. It made me feel like I'm part of something. Like, you know, I'm like a, a factor in the decision of, you know, who's going to run our country like that, and that's a big deal to me. Ayana Robinson says 2020 compelled her to get involved in the process. And I feel like it was an honor at that time that it was my first time that my vote can make a change for the world and for the better. One student talking about how we need more love and unity in our country put it perfectly, saying we need to treat every day like it's Thanksgiving. I think he's got a point. In Beaumont, James Grant, 12 News.